This is the Red Bull Rant Podcast. If you aren't expecting adult language, why even bother listening? This episode of the Red Bull Rant is brought to you by the fine people that support us through Patreon.com backslash Red Bull Rant. Head on over there to support us and get exclusive content when we fucking feel like it. We want to send a special thanks to Chris Adamick, the Mave, Mave Dartina, as Pierre, Eddie Delecto, and Jeremiah Dempster. As always, thanks, guys. Welcome, my friends, to the show never ends. This is the Red Bull Rant Podcast. I'm your host, Jason Ipico. I'm Truman, and this is episode 453, half and half. Because we were half good and we were half shit. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, before we get started, and Jesus, I wish I labeled my soundboard better. Um, Cha-ching. We- Cha-ching. Yep, that's right. It's new Patreon, uh, Patreon time. Uh, Steven Santos coming in huge as a producer uh, to the show. Steve, sorry, we didn't have a chance to record the intro. Next week, you'll get into it. You the man. You the man, Steve. All right. Uh, and if you want to support us, patreon.com slash Red Bull Rant. All right. Let's talk about the Red Bulls up and down the last two weeks. Uh, sorry, but for not being here last week. Uh, work came at me like an actual effective um, press and just completely boxed me in. So just didn't have time to, to record last week. Uh, Red Bulls got their first home win of the year, 2-1 against Dallas, but then ran into what is arguably a buzzsaw, if, if there ever was one in yeah. MLS. Uh, Columbus just destroying us 3 nothing on the road. Uh We'll get into it. Uh, Tweets first, Truman. Do you have those up? Ready to go? Yeah, tweets from the FC Dallas game. Uh, Red coach Jay Jeremiah said, guys, 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 is soccer fun again? Uh, Steven Santos put nice win in the rain, also with a singing in the rain gif. And then uh, Christopher Skinner said, Forsberg has been a force much better than my wildest expectations. Feel like this shows how much we have missed having a true veteran on the team in years. Yes. I mean, we could say that a hundred times over, right? I mean, that's what the team needs. Um, and then we'll bounce up to the loss. Our friend Eddie uh, Pierre Delecto said, soccer is no longer real. It is time for March Madness. I think I would have been apologetic if I actually watched this game, and I feel pretty happy I didn't. Definitely score, Captain. I regret it. See you all next year. Uh, in parentheses, since the away grown, because that's where he's going next year. Um, yeah. Jeremiah said, not too much to dis- dissect here. Columbus was great, and we were not. Although not feeling like going overboard, though, this doesn't undo the last few weeks of promise. Just shrug and hope it's a growing pain, I guess. And the new Patreon sponsor, Steven Santos, added, Columbus is a better team, and they showed it. We learned why they're MLS champs from last year. They demolished us. Indeed, they did. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair to say they destroyed us. Yes. All right, so let's get into the likes and dislikes. Uh, You can go first. Would you dislike the most about the last two weeks? Well, I mean, how do you sum up? that game against the crew um i'm not gonna go through my my tweets but i mean i think four minutes into the game i think i put out this game's gonna be ugly i didn't know it was gonna get that ugly but which what i dislike uh the team could not string two passes together i guess that's the biggest thing um columbus picked off almost every single pass we had and completely dominated that game dominated the red bulls can't even run the press they couldn't do anything. I mean, no. every, like every player was just completely destroyed by Columbus. They are a great team. They are definitely in, right now an MLS Cup favorite. Um, and it was coming off a great game from the Red Bulls the week before. They just, I mean, they ran this team down completely. Yeah. I mean, they're tied for first in the Eastern Conference on points. And the only reason they're not first is because 
Miami has played five games. So they scored more. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just have to go with how bad we were in Columbus as well, I guess. <laughs> um, I mean, the what first like say, 20, you know? the, the first 20 minutes, I don't think we ever, maybe like one time we had the ball in there half the field. It, it felt like we were playing. So I wonder if this is what other teams felt like back in like 20, was it 2015, 2016, like the first two years of the Marsh era where the press was really effective. Mm-hmm. It was just smothering people. I wonder if this is what it felt like. Cause I, yeah. cause that's how I felt like we just got so smothered by the press in the first half and we couldn't do a single thing. Yeah. I mean, again, that team was just all over the Red Bulls fr- from the beginning. And honestly, when you're a good team in this league, you should win big at home, right? There's, there's no, I mean, maybe this is a Red Bull arena. It's a different result, but they're in their own building and they're just a great team. Th- that's yeah. all there is to it. Yeah. All right. Uh, likes. Um, I guess I'll take the uh, the Dallas match as a big as a big like because. Um, oh, fuck, I can't remember if we went down early in the, or went down in that game at all. No, no. we were okay. up two 0 before they they scored on the free kick. But those those two goals. Well, first off, Forsberg, thank you for getting for scoring a penalty kick. Mm-hmm. Because I think it was early that day I saw Everton miss their first and only penalty kick of the Premier oh, League geez. season. So, um, <laughs> that, there's that. Uh, but then that link up play between him and Morgan for the second goal was just, it was nice. Um, a crappy night and they played great. The only goal they gave up was that free kick, which is just, I mean, that's a tough one for anyone who's going to stop that. Uh, right. Love seeing Forsberg get his first goal, get that assist. Um, it was Elias Manuel with the, with the first pass to him to break them out that like that two on one, uh, more like a two on two. But great play by them. That's what I think I knock on wood, but we're going to see more of this team if they play up their expectations. There's more a game like that, not as much as game uh, that we saw um, against the crew. This, yeah. this is the potential of what the team can be. Great passing through the middle of the field to the left side of the field. Morgan with two goals to start the season. That's huge. Um, They're going to desperately need him, uh, especially this weekend. Yep. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, I think we got to talk after thoughts about the topic that in the chat, our, our little Red Bull Ranch chat, you said that you would allow me to talk about this week. Yes, finally. And that's the referee finally biting the Red Bulls. Yeah. Um, that referee was shit in both directions, so this is not like he was shit. Right, for no, us. it was not just anti-Red Bull. Yeah. Um, but holy fuck was he out of his depth on that one. Uh, that the end of the first half in the Red Bulls box where it almost became a wrestling match. Yep. Just letting players do it almost, almost whatever they want. Like, holy hell, they do. Come on. It was bad. It was the first very bad game of a for the, for the Red Bulls. I've right. seen instances for other teams, but for the Red Bulls, it's been the first bad right. game. Correct. Right. The ones that we've, I mean, I'm not really watching any other game. I don't care. I've, I've seen talk about other other referees and seen some calls. And it's just like, wow. So. All right. Uh, any other thoughts on these games or we just want to move on? Again, like we said, let's hope we see more of the home game against Dallas, less of the game against the crew. Um, I, I, I think everybody agrees that that loss, even though it was 3-0, Red Bulls did get beat down, but it wasn't early season panic mode. Not yet. I think people, I think they really feel good about this team. Well, I think that's, I, I, so we're going to bring up the painting deck. So I think they tempered a little bit, but I think you're right in that it's not terrible. Uh, so kind of unsurprisingly, 0% of people are happy with the team. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 12 12.5% said they were sick. 25% said they were sad. And I, I think what's really a fair thing is 62.5% said they were meh about the result. Meh. Meh. Yeah. I think meh, meh is okay against this team. 
Yeah. I, I think if it was against a few other teams like DC or Philly or Blue Team, it would not be so much meh. No. All right. Uh, prediction standings. I don't know why I thought there was a possibility of a draw. That was a stupid decision I made. Correct. Uh, so Truman House now opened up a four-point lead. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> uh, so, <coughs> sorry. Truman gets six points, uh, two, one each from the, the win and the loss. I only got one from the win. Uh, with that, we're on to talk about the game against Miami uh, this Saturday, the 23rd, at 7.30 p.m., uh, Miami will come into this game with a 3-1-1 one one record, 10 points plus a goal difference, number one in the Eastern Conference, literally by a tiebreaker of goal scored. Uh, and I believe the last report I saw is a total of 14, <coughs> 14 starters missing combined between the Red Bulls and Miami, either through I have, international duty or injury. I have 12 players away representing their country. Their, their countries. So I thought there two were players two, for injury. Yeah, two for injury for Miami, I think. All right, so Truman, since you're in the lead, what's your prediction for Saturday? Uh, so let's talk about who the Red Bulls are missing. I mean, it's Forsberg, it's Noah, e- Ely, 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 Elaine. Um, Edelman's gone, Tolkien's gone, Carlos Carnell's gone, uh, Corey Burke's gone. That I mean, that's a lot of Red Bull. And then uh, Inter Miami is missing Messi and a bunch of other guys. Luis Suarez, I, is he playing in this game? As far as has I know, he retired he is. from international duty? I'm, I'm assuming he he has. I, um, as as far as I know, he is playing. I did not see him listed as being missing for this. So I mean, there's still a little star power for this game. Um, but yeah, the 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 value of this game's tickets dropped dramatically, dramatically. Um, it's supposed to be, weather's supposed to be nasty. It's going to be an ugly game. You are not going to see, like, who, how do you even run these teams out? Um, I don't know if Dante Van Zier is even healthy. No idea. Uh, Lewis Morgan will be healthy, so he is playing. That's absolutely huge. Jay, what do you, what do you take out of this game, a 1-1 draw? Is that, like, I, I don't know, because it's just there's so much missing with both these teams. Luckily, we have Ryan Mara. Who is uh, he may the, not be the starter, by the way, on Saturday. Why? He because he brought Open in Cup for Red Bull what's, what's his fucking name? Uh, hold on, I need to look it up because I can't remember who the backup is at the moment. Well, it better be Ryan Merritt, probably who's the greatest Red Bull in team history, just because he's still with this team, and is just just handling this backup role like a pro. Okay, uh, let's see roster. I wish the Website was a little bit faster. Load. Let's see, goalkeeper. Uh, AJ Marucci, who is, let's see. Listen, I'm just saying. Ryan oh, Mayer there's no, there's no fucking age on the website, so I don't know how old he is. Right, Ryan Mayer is playing. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, that's it. Let's just, let's play. Uh, Marucci is 24 years old. Okay. Uh, if you use the great, great Red Bull updated Red Bull app. Hold on. I love how the Red Bull app has that, but the Red Bull website, it doesn't. There he is. Whoop. There we are, right yeah, there. Truman showed me his phone. It's, it's great podcasting right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very visual. Me. I did. I see it. It's just date of birth was in a weird. It's not in the. It's not using slashes, so I wasn't looking for it, and that's why it's. Okay. So listen, it's going to be Ryan Mara. That's, just give the fans what they want. Give them the legend that is Ryan Mara. The guy is just a stalwart on this team. I mean, he that dude called, is, he, I, I, yeah, because he got injured. Luis Robles took over, became the fucking Iron Man. Then they brought Cornell in, and it's just like, well. He's still there, living the dream. He Clearly, he's going to be the goalkeeping coach for this team in the future. Like, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to stay here and slide into that job when I finally retire. Um, so, yeah, being said, 1-1 one, one draw, I think that's fair for these teams. Um you got to shut down Suarez somehow. He's probably going to bite his way right to that defense. I, I know it happened <laughs> a thousand years ago, and I, I, you know, come on. He was a Liverpool guy. Um, one, one draws not end of the world. I honestly, I don't think any result in this game is the end of the world. Just be, considering how many players are missing for both teams. Cause you're just not seeing, you're not seeing the full capability of either of them. Yeah. 
so I'm sorry. Did you get an actual prediction? I don't remember hearing one, one. number. One, 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 one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I when I was watching the Columbus game last week, it's like, man, if we're gonna lose this bad, we're not beating Miami. <laughs> um, and yeah, there could be a lot of disappointed Miami fans in that stand. So, um, by the way, I let me find the link I sent you you this morning because it was kind of funny talking about the the prices falling out of the tickets here. Uh, someone on Reddit was trying to sell two tickets section 122 row 9 seats 13 and 14 for 250 each everything must go <laughs> yeah I, I oh okay let's see then he lowered his price to 185 <laughs> it's kind of like, a bummer you you think mls schedule makers would kind of what i know you're not going to pick favorites by teams but i mean then you want this guy playing in the metro area like on a nice day you would think i don't know I mean, it's an afternoon game, I believe, right? It's, it's like a 2 o'clock game or something. Did we already mention the time? I thought it was 7.30. Let me double check. It's afternoon. That's Oh, you're right, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, yeah. yeah. Well, at least the disappointment will be over early. So. Yeah, yeah. You have the um, whole evening to not pay attention. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I'm predicting a loss because I don't think even without Miami's – big stars that we're not we're missing too many of our guys and we're already not gelling as it is so uh i'm gonna go with a two nothing loss uh i feel like especially with noah l going to be gone on international duty that our back line is going to be swiss cheese so maybe cal duncan will get up another free kick which will become a goal so oh man he didn't have to bring that up I, I didn't mention the other one, but like I got to mention some point. Yeah, that was not great. That was not a great no. play on his on his part. No, it wasn't. All right, uh, let's move on. Time for a little bit of a happier news in the Red Bull universe. Time for the F1 update. And box now, box, box now, box for hard. Stay out, stay out, stay out. Fuck, fuck! Why would the person do Well. Get ready to watch a race that we're not going to watch live because in Australia, and it probably starts at like 1 a.m. So, actually, let me, I'll tell you exactly the time it's going to start. Uh, midnight. So, that like, sounds like I'll be getting the first maybe 15 minutes of this race. <laughs> Which, at least for <laughs> Which me, is fine, I, can actually. Watch, I can watch some stuff tonight while I'm editing. So, yeah. And the best part, too, is that, you know, if, if you watch the first relapse and Max takes the lead, you're like, okay, I can go to bed. Is Max on pole? Yes. Okay, we're good. Right, that, that's all you need to know. So it, it could be worse. Um, but yeah, there's. I mean, it's it's so hard to stand for that game. It's so hard. Uh, so just because we didn't mention it two weeks ago, Max just utterly destroyed people again. He did. Just <clears throat> the best part of that race, honestly, was I think it was Kevin Magnuson getting like twenty second deduction. And just go in complete fuck it mode and just I'm gonna block everybody else on the track. <laughs> it's like if I'm not gonna if I'm not gonna get anywhere close to the top ten, I might as well let my teammate do it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm kinda wondering if there's gonna be like people see that and then go, like the teams are like middle of the, the table kind of thing. Go, you know what? Let's maximize our points. Hey, driver A, uh just you know, go drive driver B, just block everybody because you're not gonna win in this race anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why not? It's not a terrible strategy. No, it really wasn't. It got him points, right? It got him, like, yep. I think ninth that race. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, the funny thing that which I sent to you was the uh, Stake F1 team has to change their name for four races this season because of anti-gambling laws. Uh, I, I understand yeah. wanting to buy in, but you would think – the owner of the team would be like, yeah, I want your money, but not to the point where we're going to have to change the name every once in a while. Right. I mean, it's, it's so ridiculous. I know it's only four races, but still, it's pretty silly. <laughs> At least the colors are the same. Yeah. So there's that. Sweet colors, by the way. Those are nice looking cars. Oh, well, yeah. That team I think that's sweet. more the, I think that's more kick, honestly. Yeah. Because kick's colors are green and black. So. Yeah. Either <laughs> way, right. it's a great looking color. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, with that, it's time for the dumping ground. I'm the trash man. So, do you know the United States men's team was playing the Nations League or uh, no. Concacaf Nations League? Yeah. No. Uh, they played a semifinal today against Jamaica, which I believe the final was three one. After added extra time, uh, which they only got to because the U.S. got a last minute goal which was an own goal by Corey Burke. Corey, buddy. How <laughs> hey, you doing, dude? Uh, look at it this way. He's getting it out of the way, so it's not with us. I hope. I really hope so. But, man, the fact that we needed a late, late stoppage time goal just to even have the chance of scoring two more goals in uh, added extra time, that's kind of sad. Yeah. Well, sad. I was. I had no idea they were playing a game. So, yeah. Well, not a lot of people did because that stadium was not full. <laughs> and, and, and I did not hear any U.S. fans in that broadcast. So I don't know if that's a microphone problem or a fan problem, but a little bit of both. Yeah, probably. Uh, U.S. women. They won the uh, women's gold cup. Uh, I they beat Brazil. I honestly don't remember the score. So. Uh, Let's see. Um, Atom FC has started their season. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, they lost uh, one nothing to the San Diego Wave in the uh, NWSL Challenge Cup. I, but they had a great crowd. I think they had, was it 15,000 at the stadium? Uh, let's see. I think that they had a really good turnout. Yeah, let's see. I don't think Google will tell me. Yeah, that Google doesn't tell me what the... Uh, what the attendance was it was like i think it was like 15 and that's really good for Mm -hmm. what was like a march game for uh a a season opening cup tournament thingy yeah which i'm trying to understand because it said final on it like how is it the final i thought the challenge cup was an actual like tournament now yeah, it's above our pay grade, and our pay grade is exactly zero. Uh, apparently, this was the only match of the Challenge Cup this year. So what? A, what a challenge! Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, so Gotham FC's next match. This is more important. We'll get to this too. Don't forget about we'll, this. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, next. Or, or sorry, Gotham's next match is uh this Sunday, March twenty fourth at seven p.m. They will open up. The defense of their NWSL title officially on the road at Portland Thorns. Uh, unfortunately for them, they're not playing a home game until April 14th. Mm-hmm. So uh, they have to start the season on the road. But, hey, if you can do, go out go out on the 14th and support them. Yeah. Uh, next, New York Red Bulls 2. Since you were trying to show me through Skype, do you want to talk about it? Yeah, they won five one in the in the tournament that we don't want to play in, the Open Cup. So five one win over the Hudson Valley Hammers. What a great name that is, Hudson Valley Hammers. Uh, at home at MSU Soccer Park. Um, that's all you need to know. They they beat up a team they should beat up. Uh, speaking of Open Cup, I, I sent you. Do you know, do you remember who's back in it this year? I sent you, I sent you the thing like I think Monday or late last week. Uh, it's a, is it the Rochester Rhinos? No, Sasha Question. Oh, you're right. Yes, yeah, Sasha Question. Apparently, uh, he signed with the Des Moines uh, Menace, uh, who won their game against Capo. I'm not sure who Capo is. Uh, Capo they won Caco. their game. Maybe uh, they won their game five four on penalty kicks. And apparently Sasha Kleshin had like a half volley assist on one of the goals. So nice. Let's see. There were there were some surprising things I saw. Uh, uh, where's uh, Vermont Green? I think is it Lexington? Is he? That's not. Uh, I saw something about Austin FC two somewhere. 
I can't seem to find it, but I think Austin FC two lost to an amateur club, and it was just kind of funny. Probably because they just didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. They lost at home three one to Tacoma Defiance. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. That that was a, a different game. Open Cup first friend they lost at home to a team called Foro on penalty kicks uh four to three. Foro Yeah. I mean when I click on their name, it just brings me to the page for just one uh game on it because that's how low they are. <laughs> uh Foro Sports Club out of Dallas, Texas. But a powerhouse. I mean, hey, they they just beat the, the the reigning MLS next champions, so it's true. All right. Uh anything else for dumping ground slash Red Bulls two slash Gotham? No, I'm just gonna share this picture of Valerie Botas's face with that mullet for the rest of the show. I'm just gonna substitute <laughs> in that head. Look at that. Look at that mustache and mullet. So he, look he at that for the rest, good, rest of the show. <laughs> he does have a good mullet. I gotta say that he does. Look at that thing, beautiful. Um, this guy. All right, uh, let's move on to the last segment of the show. Truman's terrible team of the week. That's terrible. I don't even want to talk about terrible team of the week because it makes me so mad. I don't even want to talk about it, but I have to give it to Liverpool because they uh, they had two uh, one goal leads against Manchester United at Old Trafford, blew them both. Uh, They blew a 2-1 lead. They blew a 3-2 lead. And then with literally a few minutes left in extra time, I don't know if you probably saw none of this. They had a corner. I saw that. I saw that sequence. Yeah, the corner, which turned into pretty much a two-on-one breakaway down the other side, which Manchester United scored on and ended up being the game winner. So that was nauseating, but... You gotta play. You you gotta play a little bit better when it's a tie game with chance to go to penalties within a couple minutes. You just can't take a corner the way they did. <sighs> Mad. So there goes um, the chance for win four trophies in the season. If they win two, they'll be very lucky. They're in Europe in a good spot, but they're not even in first in the Premiership anymore. So come on, Jurgen Klopp, get your, this, this team. <laughs> It's upsetting. Yeah. My my team's facing another points deduction, so and A Nottingham Forest just got a four point deduction. Which is kind of bullshit, honestly. Yep. yep. Because when Everton got theirs, we were told six is the baseline. Six was like the minimum is what they said. Apparently Force was facing eight and they were given four. See we were facing ten and got six after appeal. They didn't even appeal theirs. And they got four points taken off. Yeah. Which of course means everything's gonna get four more points back because that's just gonna be what they decide. They're gonna get a, they're gonna get us ten points either way, apparently. I'm just waiting for Man City to get like twenty five point deduction. In twenty fifty. Yes, correct. One point a season. Well, I meant they're just going to all in 2050 because that's they'll when just, they'll finally finish. That's how they'll punish them. It'll just, it'll just be one point a season. When, when they're already season. somehow down in, like, what is it, League 2 or whatever they call it? Not not the championship, whatever the one right. below it is. Like, that's yeah. when they'll finally punish them. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Are we we're done with nothing else to talk about? Yeah, we're fucking done. Okay. Let's wrap yeah, this one up. You can there. visit us. At patreon.com slash Red Bull Rant. $1 a month gets you whatever exclusive content we decide to give you. Uh, email us, Red Bull Rant at gmail.com. If you want to call us, 973-348-5329. Leave a voicemail. Facebook.com slash Red Bull Rant. On Twitter, at Red Bull Rant for the show. At Doc Destouche myself, at The Truman for Truman. Subscribe to our show via iTunes, YouTube Music, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, pretty much anywhere you can find a podcast. Last words before we get out of here. Uh, if you're a wrestling fan and you have not watched that uh, Adam Copeland versus Christian Cage I Quit match yet, highly recommend it. Fantastic match. Uh, it's those two guys just doing what they do. It, it was that, so that was good. on Dynamite, right? It was. Go back and watch it. It was awesome. That being said, fucking 2 o'clock game. Stupid. Um, 
anyway, go shock us and actually win. Yep. All right. So for Truman and myself, this has been episode 453 of the Red Bull Rant. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, go Red Bulls. See you later.